New tonight, H&N investigates aging guardrails along Hawaii's roadways following this frightening crash a few weeks ago where a pickup plunged off the Moanalua Freeway. The barriers are intended to keep drivers from running off the road, but safety experts say the majority of Hawaii's guardrails are obsolete and might not work the way they're supposed to. Investigative reporter Allison Blair has our top story. Experts say most of Hawaii's guardrails are too low and weren't designed to handle a collision with many of the larger vehicles on the road today. A problem the feds have instructed the state to fix. Meanwhile, safety advocates are speaking out following this latest crash, warning the antiquated technology could pose a serious danger. Dashcam video captured the moment a pickup truck traveling west on the Moanalua Freeway near Red Hill lost control. The driver veered across two lanes of traffic before going airborne, launching over the guardrail and disappearing down the steep embankment. The vehicle mounted the rail and just kept on going. The thing that's so haunting about the uh, that video is you can see the individual in, the, in that um, driver's seat. A similar image forever ingrained in the mind of Stephen Imers. In 2016, my wife and I, um, we lost our oldest daughter when she was speared in a guardrail crash. When I started investigating what happened with Hannah, I saw an industry that was just largely unregulated. Over the past seven years, the Knoxville father has become a guardrail expert, using that knowledge to review scores of crashes across the country. He found many collisions have the same things in common. It's very old and obsolete guardrail. According to the Federal Highway Administration, a guardrail is a safety barrier intended to shield a motorist who has left the roadway. Experts say its height, along with the depth of the posts and types of washers used to fasten it all together, play a major role in controlling which direction a vehicle will go. Crash tests show guardrails that are 31 inches tall perform best in collisions with today's vehicles, unlike older, lower guardrails, where there's more of a chance the driver could go over top the barrier. The research prompted the federal government to advise states to increase the standard height from 27 to 31 inches. Several years later, H&N investigates confirmed nearly 90% of the 400 miles of guardrail along Hawaii's roadways still doesn't meet that standard including this stretch at the site of the recent crash. Did the guardrail work the way it was intended to? <clears throat> so yes and no. I mean, really overall it was intended for an impact about 50, of about 50 miles per hour. We discovered the 27 inch steel guardrail along this section of the Moanalua Freeway was installed more than 50 years ago. When we visited the site ourselves, we found some areas where guardrail height appeared to be even lower. This section, a little ways down the road, measured about 26 inches. The director of Hawaii's Department of Transportation says the half-century-old guardrail was designed for smaller, lighter weight vehicles traveling at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. The rated for an impact of a vehicle between 1,800 to 2,000 pounds for a car, between 3,500 to 4,000 pounds for a truck. According to data collected by the Environmental Protection Agency, the lightest vehicles on the market today are sedans with an average weight of about 3,500 pounds. That's 1,500 pounds heavier than what the majority of Hawaii's guardrails are engineered to handle. Meanwhile, today's pickup trucks weigh an average of 5,250 pounds or 1,200 pounds more than what most guardrails are designed for. The warnings are there saying, hey, these can override and then we see this crash here in Honolulu, and it's exactly what they warned us about. Imer says testing conducted at the University of Nebraska shows the modern 31-inch guardrail with enhanced safety features can prevent rollover crashes like this one. Typically, on a side impact like that, you want to see the rail release from the post and then contain the vehicle and redirect it and kind of hold it up against the rail and bring it to a controlled stop. What is the plan to, to remedy this issue? So the, the policy that we put out in 2019 was to ensure that any time we start doing significant roadway work in a corridor, we look at replacing out all of the guardrails and, and concrete barriers. But progress is slow. Of Hawaii's 400 miles of guardrail, only about 50 miles currently meet the 31-inch standard. 
Officials estimate it will take at least a decade to replace all of the old barriers at a cost of $400 million. It's a project IMERS would like to see fast-tracked. It could be your child that you're protecting. It could be your own life. Learn from these videos. Uh, don't just be entertained by them. We've confirmed the driver of that truck managed to survive the crash without any serious injuries. The DOT confirms it's waiting to make any changes to the guardrail in that area until an investigation into the crash is complete. And be sure to check out the story on our website. There you'll find an island by island breakdown of all of the places guardrail has been upgraded. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.